Hey YouTube, so today this is the look I wanted to do. I'm really into the new fall trends, like um, last year my favorite thing to do is a really clean eye with a really bold lip, so I thought I would do that in a video today and just use some of my dark lipsticks that I have. So if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep watching. So start off by priming your eye with your favorite eyelid primer. I'm just using um, Bare Essentials Prime Time. And we just want to use a creamy base to give the shadows something to stick to and also to prevent creasing that might happen later on in the day. So once that is all smoothed out, got a nice layer everywhere, we want to start with our highlight color. So today I'm going to use this really pretty shimmery, frosty, um, off-white color. This is from my Lorac um, palette. And I'm just going to take basic eyeshadow brush, dip it in, and then pop this under my brow. So um, anything with kind of a frosty finish to it, so um, nylon would work from MAC, or um, you can use Shroom if you want something softer. So really any frosty off-white eyeshadow would work. We just want to give kind of a glow under the brow. Now I'm just going to start off with a matte, or actually, sorry, this is a satin eyeshadow from MAC. This is Orb, so you can see, Orb. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid and use it as a base. So just kind of pack it on your lower lid and then blend it up to your highlight. So we just want a nice flat base. Now we just want to shade our crease area. So I'm just going to take this really pretty brown from MAC. This is Texture. Let's see if my, there we go, Texture. And I'm just going to take my um, eye defining brush from Bare Essentials. And I'm just going to sweep this in my crease. Um, really lightly just to warm up our crease area define it a little bit and I'm just gonna go back with my 224 brush from MAC with the same color and just kind of fluff it in the edges and in the crease just to kind of blend it out Also, um, take texture and blend it in the outer corner of your eyelid, and then I also took orb and blended it in the inner corner. Um, sorry, I skipped a step. But anyway, um, I'm going to take Saddle from MAC. This is a nice warm matte brown, and just a small angled brush. And I'm just going to lightly put this um, in the crease, just a tiny, tiny bit. With the same highlight color, I'm just going to take a small kind of pencil brush, pat that right in the center of my lid just for a soft highlight. And then also around our tear duct. Just to bring some light to the center of our face. Okay, so I went ahead and added um, a winged liner um, on my lash line, and then I added some really thick, full, wispy lashes. These are the MAC 48s. Did a few coats of mascara on my lower lashes, and then smudged a little bit of a, um, a black pencil liner. So that's what the eyes should look like. The really pretty highlight in the inner corner and then under the brow. So let's zoom out. Okay, so um, now we're going to finish the rest of the face. I already did um, this side. I'm just going to finish this side, and then we'll focus on the lips since that's the main 
focus of this look. Um, so I'm going to um, contour my cheeks first. And I'm just going to use a powder that's a little bit darker. Well, actually, it's kind of very, a lot darker than my skin tone, but um, this color is what I use. So just any powder that you have. So. Oh, and I already have my bronzer on, too, so. Okay. So, contour. Now, we're going to use um, a blush. I am going to use... Um, let's see, what did I use? I'm going to use um, Pinch Me on my cheeks. And I'm just using the 116 brush from MAC. Add a little bit more on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. I'm just going to use, this is Honey Rose Magical Cool Liquid Powder. And I'm just going to use a little bit in my lid. And this is the 188 brush that I always use for it. Just put this on the tops of your cheeks so we get that really pretty glow to go along with the glow on her eyes, or the highlight color. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to focus on the lip color. And I want to do a bold lip. Um, during fall I love using dark, bold, rich tones on my lips. I just think it looks really pretty, especially if you have um, really thick lashes and a clean eye. So I'm going to line my lips with Mahogany Lip Pencil from MAC. If you could see that. Let me zoom a little bit too, so I can at least see what I'm doing. Um, okay, let me get my mirror. Let me line them real fast. You want to make sure you have a nice clean line around your lips, especially if you're using a dark color. Sorry, you probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. So I just filled in, let me move my camera down a little bit, maybe that will help. Okay, there, so I just filled them in a little bit. So um, the pencil is going to be a base for um, my lipstick. My lips are kind of dry right now, so don't mind that. <clears throat> let me zoom out. So I'm going to use um, Kittenish. This was from, um, I think, the Feline collection, but um, any dark, rich red tone, brown tone, purple tone would work. 
So let me just do this. I love this color. I don't think I've used it yet. Okay. So... That's what the lips should look like. Just a nice bold lip. Um, if you don't have kittenish, some things um, that would also look pretty. I don't know if you have um, Underworld. A dark color like that would be nice. Um, you can use... Um, what else do I have? Oh. You can use um, Spiced Raisin from Bare Essentials. That would look pretty. Or if you want more of a glossy look, you can use, um, what is this color? This is Vixen from NYX. Actually, I'm going to put some of this in the center of my lip just to see what it looks like. Kind of dark, though. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Tap it in the center. So if you wanted a little bit more on the glossy side, then this um, this is another thing that you can do or add or just start off with the gloss in general. So that's the end of the look. I love doing this look for fall, just a really clean eye um, with really thick lashes and then just kind of a really pretty glow um, on certain areas of your face just to highlight and then just a really dark, bold lip. Um, some people might think this is too dark or too vampy, but I think it's a gorgeous, classy fall look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, try it out this fall. Um, I don't know if you guys have, have guests, but I can't wait for fall. I've been doing a whole bunch of fall stuff like shopping and just new looks and nail polish colors, so I'm really excited about it. So if you want to know the products I used um, for this look, I will list it in my blog. And then, um, yeah, if you want to um, be my friend on Facebook, I do have a Facebook page now. I'll put the link below. Follow my blog. And then that is it. So I will see you guys very soon. And thank you for watching. Bye.